everyone welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be doing a video on different neighborhoods that you could live in in washington dc we are particularly going to be looking at apartments that are under fifteen hundred dollars for those looking for a budget friendly option and they want to live alone this is a good video to watch um, i will be also showing you one or two more expensive apartments for those who have a bit more space in their budget for this we're going to be looking at three neighborhoods today which are eastern market um, which is in the capitol hill area dupont circle and then a sub community in dupont circle that is called 17th street so these are the three neighborhoods we're going to be looking at i'm, I'm going to show you footage of me in those spaces showing you the neighborhood showing you what's going on um, so definitely watch through the whole video so i can show you all of this i'll also be giving apartment tours not like real me there but um, a par like sample apartments that you could expect in that area via Zillow.com, which is what I use to find these apartments. Um, a little bit about me and why I am making this video is because I moved to DC without ever like seeing any apartment in person. Um, and I think I would have really found this video helpful um, to get a little bit better idea of the neighborhoods, um, what they're like, what the vibe is, you know, prices. I found a place on Craigslist and I moved right in. It ended up being a good fit, um, but it really could have gone wrong. <laughs> if you're interested in moving to DC or are planning to, definitely keep watching. Um, so let's get started. We're going to go first to Eastern Market. Eastern Market, Capitol Hill, Lincoln Park, they're all in one little area um, that is in the near south east of Washington, D.C. D.C. is uh, separated into four quadrants, the northeast, northwest, south, east, southwest. And Eastern Market, you can expect a median rent of $2,100 for a one-bedroom apartment. Um, that is quite expensive, I would say, um, but it's pretty normal for DC, so you're not going to find much cheaper um, in different areas. There is a video I did with one neighborhood in it that has a median apartment uh, cost of $14.37, I think, in a previous video, a similar video to this. I'll link that up here so you can watch that one as well. Um, there is good transportation in the area. This includes the Eastern Market Metro, which is on the blue, orange, silver line. Other options are bus. We have a very robust bus system in DC. And the last is city bike. There are city bike docks that you can rent a city bike for, which a lot of people do to get to work or to just get around the town. Um, I would say the buzzwords of this area are upbeat, family-friendly, busy, um, but also peaceful. I was there on a Saturday recording this. I've been there usually on weekends because I don't really go there during the weekdays. But there was a farmer's market. There was people bustling around. There was people doing their grocery shopping. There was people sitting and doing outdoor dining. There was really just so much going on and I really enjoyed being there. Some of the hot spots that I would say are, for example, farmer's market, which is on Saturdays and possibly Sundays, I'm not sure. Bullfrog bagels, which has really good bagels. Um, there's also Hank's Oyster Bar, which is a classic. Um, the necessities available are, I would say, pretty great. Um, you have Trader Joe's, um, a vet's office, CVS Pharmacy, an urgent care, and a postal service all within like a five minute walking distance of each other, which I think is amazing. Now we're going to take a look at some Zillow apartments in the area that you can live in for $1,500 or less. Okay, so Eastern Market, the little area I described, is right here. Um, that has like the vet's office, the the postal's office, the restaurants, Bullfrog Bagels, Trader Joe's, is all right here. The Metro is located right here on Pennsylvania Ave. Um, and the apartments I was looking at were this one for one fifteen hundred and one for fourteen hundred. The fifteen hundred is a studio, and the fourteen hundred says it's a one bed, one bath. Um, so let's take a look at those. Um, so this one's a studio, the 1495 one. Um, I will say it has a lot of light, which is awesome because you're, for this price point, you're gonna end up in a lot of basements. Um, it has a full kitchen, a stove, refrigerator. Um, it has closet space, like for pantry. Um, it actually has a fireplace, which I thought was really interesting, uh, next to the front door. Uh, the bathroom, I think, is pretty cute, pretty standard bathroom, um, especially for Washington, D.C. 
Um, this is the bed. Um, it appears to be, I think, to the left of the kitchen. So again, it's a studio, so make sure to consider that. Um, they have room for a desk, for a television. So it looks to me like they really made good use of the space. Um, you can also see what it looks like furnished here. Again, uh, this is the outside of the house, and this place in particular is 395 square feet. And it's actually one apartment in, I think, two row houses that are next to each other that have been converted into an apartment. Um, behind it is a carriage house that has washer and dryer, so I'm assuming you would be, you would be sharing that with people. Um, and yeah, it's a short walk to Lincoln Park, Union Station, Eastern Market Station, and I 100% would consider living here for the price point for the neighborhood. If I wasn't, you know, in my current situation, married with a house, I would 100% consider living here um, because it would be a way for me to save money and live somewhere nice that's big enough for me, um, but also close enough to necessities and the metro station so I can get to work. So the next place we're going to be looking at is 1.4K. Um, this is an example of one of those basement apartments that I mentioned. Um, as you can see here, the light is a lot lower. The kitchen is beautiful. They really did a good job with the kitchen. Um, but again, not that much light, which is something that you're going to find in a lot of basement apartments. Um, they seem to have had enough room for, oh sorry, this is not a studio, this is a one bedroom. So they have plenty of room for a bedroom, plenty of room for, you know, hosting. Um, but again, you kind of give up light and yeah, I love light. I don't think I could live in a basement apartment, but that's just me. Um, I actually did live with a, in a basement apartment for over a year with my husband before we moved houses. And yeah, I don't think I'd do it again, but for some people it's totally worth it to have the extra space compared to a studio. Um, it's a few blocks from Eastern Market and Capitol Hill. Um, usually Zillow will show like if they allow pets or not. And there is a washer dryer in the unit of this one. So those are two an example of two different apartments that you can get in the area um, for under $1,500. Um, and I wanted to show you... So there's actually a third apartment I'm going to show you. This one's $14.95 for a one bed, one bath. I actually thought this one was pretty cute. There's like an island, and not an island, uh, one of those separations with like a window into the kitchen. Not a window, a space into the kitchen. Um, the living room looks quite small, but it could probably fit a small couch. There's a fireplace. Um, again, the kitchen is there. Um, and this is a one bedroom so it looks like it has its own bedroom and this one is actually pretty well lit so I would say this is a good one this is probably one of my this is probably my favorite in the area that I would get um and then I also saved one that was like 2100 or something okay so for 2100 you could get a one bed one bath that is 1039 um square feet this one looks really beautiful. There's a lot of light. Um, it looks like there's hardwood floors. The kitchen looks kind of small, but still functional. There's a dining room area. Um, there's a bedroom with an accent wall. This one's really cute. Again, if you have the higher budget and that's what you're looking for. So yeah, those are the apartments in Eastern Market. Again, I really love Eastern Market. It is beautiful. Um, but let's move on to another neighborhood that I love and I spend a lot of time in. So that's gonna be DuPont Circle. So DuPont Circle. Um, in DuPont Circle, you will find a ton of different stuff. So DuPont Circle, I would say, is one of the more historic areas of DC in that, I don't know, there's just a lot of old buildings, um, old row houses, there's a lot of think tanks there, there's a lot of, I would say, history there, there's a lot of embassies there. Um, so there's so much. There's boutiques, shopping, bookstores, tons of restaurants, just an eternal amount, I would say. But let's get into some of the more inter the details that you're here for. Um, so the median rent for DuPont Circle is $21.33 for a one bedroom, one bath. Um, lots of really good transportation in DuPont Circle, including the Metro, City Bike, and the bus lines, which run all throughout DuPont Circle and will take you anywhere in the city. Um, I would say the buzzwords for this are vibrant, historic, bustling. Um, during the weekdays, especially around uh, like 5 p.m. and 9 a.m., you will find hundreds, 
a thousand, I don't know, hundreds of thousands, thousands of per young professionals rushing through to get to their jobs that are a bit south or a bit north. There's a ton of offices here, unlike in Eastern Market. Eastern Market is more family oriented and like home oriented, while DuPont Circle has office buildings mingled in with uh, DuPont with apartments like you might be living in a row house but the row house next to you is the international center for Chinese relations or something um, I would say the community is a lot of young adults professionals uh, longtime residents and the wealthy elite I don't know those are the people who buy the houses the houses are extremely expensive going into the millions of dollars um, some of the hot spots that include my favorites are Kramer's, formerly known as Kramer's Bookstore. It almost shut down. All of DC rallied and it's their favorite, it's the favorite bookstore of the, of the city and it was revived. Um, and it was rebranded as Kramer's. Still a bookstore but also as a restaurant and a lot of going ons. Um, there's places like Emissary Cafe where people will be found working reading, hanging out, um, and my personal favorite, which I go to a lot when I volunteer next to it, uh, Larry's Homemade Ice Cream. But yeah, so many goodies there. Um, I typically am there a few days a week just because there's so many cool bars that you can hang out with after with friends. And again, I volunteer in the area and frequent Larry's way too much. Um, they have a lot of necessities available like CVS Pharmacy, um, the grocery store is about a 15 minute walk, so there's none in proper DuPont Circle, but if you walk 15 minutes, there's a Trader Joe's and a Safeway. Um, there's veterinaries, there's medical services, one of my medical, one of my, like, the offices that I go to for medical services is in DuPont Circle. They really have so much, and if you really want to be in the heart of the city, and, like, if you're first moving there and really want to have a DC experience, I would recommend DuPont Circle. Um, so for rentals, let's take a look. So I found a few that were under fifteen hundred. I also have a friend who lived in a studio for fifteen hundred dollars. Again, it was it was a studio. It was quite small, but it fit her needs, and it was in the center of DC, which is something that she wanted. Um, and if that's something that you want, this is a good place to be. Okay, so let's see some apartments. Um, the first one we're gonna be looking at is fifteen hundred dollars. This is a one bedroom. English basement. So again, you're gonna get a lot of basements for this price, but the kitchen looks nice. It has a stove um, And there aren't many pictures, but this might be most of the space. Um, there appears to be a room And what looks like a closet. It's 500 square feet So it might be a little bit bigger than just the pictures, but you're gonna get that info when you get there I would say um, again, it's two blocks from DuPont Circle, one block from Connecticut Ave, three blocks from Adams Morgan. And so this is like a, it's in a few neighborhoods. Um, but yeah, I would definitely check this one out, you know, if I was looking for a place because again, the area is great. Pets are welcome. There's a washer and dryer in unit. We're shook. Um, so this one looks pretty good to me. Let's check out another one. Um, this is at 1818 Riggs, so it doesn't look like this is the studio. Um, it looks like they're showing you a bunch of different areas, but, um, I assume it'll look similar to this. The studio is between 1475 to 1565. They look like they have four available, and this looks like it would be the setup. So it actually looks quite large, 450 square feet. There looks to be enough room for the kitchen, which is slightly separated, a living room, bathroom, and even a dining room and a desk and bed area. So I would say that this one's pretty good. I would definitely go check it out so I could see an actual image. Um, not actual image, I could actually see the place. Um, wait, oh, this looks like it could be the, the studio. This looks like it could be the studio. Um, so yeah, that's another example of one that's in DC. A lot of places are doing free rent, so two months free rent here for this one. Yeah, I would definitely go check that one out. Um, I was also going to show you a more expensive one. Uh, let me find that one. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is what you could get for $2,200 plus in DuPont Circle. Um, 
this is just like three blocks from the metro which is great there's a beautiful kitchen living room bedroom I would say this is a great price for what you get. It's going to be six ten, um, especially for the area. Again, this area is super sought after. People really want to live here, and for twenty one fifty eight, if you can afford it, if that's in your budget, this is definitely a good option. And you can definitely find options like this in Dupont Circle, if as long as you look. Again, Dupont Circle has so much going on. It really is so beautiful. I wish I lived there. I used to wish I lived there. Um, there really is so much going on. Okay, so let's move on to the next neighborhood, which is 17th Street. 17th Street neighborhood is a sub-community in, in DuPont Circle, actually, but I wanted to show it as a different place because I would say it kind of is. Um, I would say all of DC is very um, LGBTQIA plus friendly. Um, but 17th Street is especially so. This area is like a historically gay community. It's very, there's a lot of pride flags flying around all year. The streets have pride flags on them. There's restaurants that are like iconically owned by LGBTQIA plus people. Um, but it, and it is just such a beautiful little area. Um, I will say a few things about it, including that it's one-way street, so there's parking in the middle of the street and stuff. Um, but there are so many different little restaurants and little spots that are pretty cool. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Again, the median rent is about 2000 2100 which is similar to DuPont Circle because it's technically part of DuPont Circle. The transportation includes a DuPont Circle Metro which is just a few blocks from it. Again, it's inside DuPont Circle. The bus and city bike. Um, the buzzwords I would use are, again, LGBTQIA+, uh, friendly, uh, peaceful, historic. The community, again, is LGBTQIA+, um, young adults, professionals, and also longtime residents. Um, some of the hot spots include, they have a Hank's Oyster Bar there, I think a place called Annie's, which is really iconic, uh, the DuPont Italian Kitchen, also known as Dick, and one of the highlights of this neighborhood is that it hosts the High Heel Drag Queen race every October, which is something that Jake and I always go to with our friends, um, people just lying the streets, and drag queens race down the street. It's a lot of fun, and it's definitely um, makes the street a hot spot. Um, some of the necessities available include a CVS, Safeway, 7-Eleven, there's even a gas station, which is again pretty random for the area. You can typically mostly find those further out, of, like in this, like not the center of the city, which is where we are right now. Um, but I love this area. Um, I was there on a Saturday and there are people that are just joyous, running down the street, groups of people bar hopping, um, couples walking around holding hands. It's just like a really joyous place to be. Um, and if you identify as LGBTQIA+, um, this might be a place that you are really comfortable. Um, so let's look at some apartments in this area. Um, so there are a few studios that I found, including one that was 1.4K. This was $2,500. No, it's $2,500. 2,500. No, it's not. 250 square feet. That would be wild. And it has a small kitchen, stovetop, oven, which, you know, refrigerator, which is all you need. But again, it's a studio. It's quite small. Um, it looks like this would be the bedroom area here with the three windows. Um, it looks like a, to be a little alcove where you might be able to place a desk. Um, this is the outside of the building. Uh, for $1,400, I would say this is really good if you want to be in the area. Again, it's really small, 250 square feet. But if you want to be in the area, under $1,500, this is what you're going to be looking at. Um, it's minutes from shops and entertainment, five blocks from DuPont Circle itself and the DuPont Circle Metro. Um, has very tall ceilings which makes the room feel huge okay so this is another one i don't think that this is it i think that this is a building that also has studios that run for 1445 it looks like there's a couple of different examples of places um 
and but they did it looks like they do show the floor plan um which is this so you'd walk in you have a little room for a you know a couch table a desk area bed um kitchen and a full bath so um this is 255 square feet which is very similar to the other one and it has um you know everything one might need it, it's a pet friendly one they also offer one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom apartments uh there's walk-in closets wow oh, yeah, fancy um and again you're gonna end up very close to 17th street okay so this one i think is pretty great this one's 14.30 per month um it's a studio and it actually looks like it's a pretty big studio it's 409 it looks like it's actually basically a one bedroom because it's connected through this door which for some reason is not considered a one bedroom um it looks like it's hardwood floors the kitchen looks quite sizable there's an island there's a beautiful light which you know can't complain a bathroom it looks like there's a closet it looks like everything you might need um this one is again um in uh just next to 17th street and um it looks like it has a washer dryer in unit and it includes water trash sewage um while the res resident is responsible for electric and internet um it looks like you can allow cats and dogs including but of course there's cat rent and dog rent um but it does allow pets which is nice um again i think this is a really nice place it's 409 square feet which is a little bit bigger than the others and not that much more um last let's look at a place that's a little bit more expensive um, so for $21.50, you can get a really traditional apartment, it looks like. Uh, this is actually a two-bed, which is really nice. Um, it's more traditional. I would say there's the shiny hardwood floors, there's windows, um, lots of big windows, the bathroom. The kitchen's not, like, remodeled or anything, but it has everything you one might need. Um, there's the bathroom, which I think the tiling's pretty cool, and that mirror is pretty cool, too. Um... again it looks really pretty um i feel like this is a place that jake and i would probably live in um now at this price um if we weren't in our current situation just because it has an extra room that could be used as an office it looks like there's walk-in closet and a lot of storage um so i would say this place is pretty interesting and good for the price there's an elevator it's really close to a lot of things on 17th street um it looks like they allow pets, which is nice. And yeah. Oh, there's on-site laundry available. So it doesn't look like there's one inside your apartment, but still on-site, so that's good. Okay, so those are all the neighborhoods and apartments that I wanted to show you today. I hope you found some information and some helpful information and um, some apartments that you know might be interesting to you. I feel like there's always new apartments coming on. And things are a little cheaper because of the panini. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing another series, um, another one in the series about group homes. So how you can find housing for under $1,200 in DC. Um, I'm not, not going to be showing you entire apartments, um, but I will show you places that you can live comfortably um for under twelve hundred dollars so subscribe if you're interested in that and let me know if you're if you are interested in that in the comments if there's a lot of interest then i'll probably rush to do that one soon um again thank you so much for watching i hope you'll subscribe uh just know i don't always do videos on dc i love to do videos on dc but i also am a lifestyle channel i talk about career i talk about my professional life i do days in my life but i'll also do the occasional vlog and makeup look so subscribe if you're interested in that 